this is a transistor. Although it has multiple purposes, today we're going to try to make it work as a switch, an LED switch. So let's get started. Now there are two main type transistors. We have the NPN and the PNP transistor. The NPN is the most common used, especially for switching circuits. So for now we're going to concentrate on the NPM and implement it in our circuit. Now the schematics for the NPN transistor is as follows. We start with the base. Go to the emitter and we have the collector here so this is our NPN So if we want to turn an LED on, we have to look at the basic circuit, which is as follows. We have a battery, in, this, in our case 5 volt DC, we go to our LED. So. Now, an LED is a light emitting diode, so when it turns on, the current is big because the resistance is low. So uh, normally an LED, in this case, would damage itself because the current is too big. So we need a current limiting resistor. Uh, in our case we take a uh, 330 ohms in order to prevent uh, the LED from damaging. So I drew uh, a new sc simple schematic to uh, explain how it works. Now, with the transistor, the problem is the same as with the LED, that when it turns on, it uh, has a low resistance, and so we need to reduce the current in the base. So that's the next thing we are going to determine. Now, with a red LED, we usually have a voltage drop of 2 volts. So, in total we have 5 volts, that leaves 3 volts voltage drop on the resistor. So, now we can determine the current. And in this case it's uh, the voltage divided by the resistance. So, it's 3, three volts divided by 330 is uh, 9 milliamps. Now to determine the uh, current in this circuit we can uh, use a rule of thumb and that is that we divide this current by 10 and we get uh, 0.9 milliamps in this case in, in this circuit 
Now, we can usually say that the voltage drop on basic emitter is 0.7 volts. So, um, 5 volts main MINDY, this 0.7 is 4.3 volts over our resistor. Um, so if you want to determine the, uh, the resistance, we can do um, 4.3 to 0.9 milliamps. That's uh, up, no, approximately 4.77 kiloamps. So here we have the, uh, our situation on the breadboard with our LED and our 330 ohms resistor. Here's our 4.7K uh, resistor. 4.77 isn't available. Um, and here we have our uh, transistor with the resistor on the base. So if I apply a small current to the base, uh, it should turn the LED on. And it does. Now some people may ask why not use a regular switch or a relay. Well, the transistor is usually much faster than a relay in switching. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate that uh, now. I hooked it up to a generator, square wave generator in this case. Um, and I'm going to turn up the frequency. So the LED will stop flashing. And I'll put it at 406 Hz. So, yeah, it's, it's switching, but uh, for the eye it's not visible. So, uh, another neat thing to do is that you can change the duty cycle of the square wave. So you can dim the LED, you can try to demonstrate that. Um, let's see, duty cycle, turn it down. I hope it's visible. So, 8%. I'm gonna turn it up again. It should be more bright. 50% duty cycle. Well, I hope it was, this was uh, helpful. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Bye bye.